Now a couple of days ago I popped to see my mate Roy and he said he, he might have, have an alt mate for me. I met him briefly at uh, when I fetched the bolts the other day. But Ray's and it's him, we all went out for a, a ride out. So anyway, I went to see him and you know, and he was in and uh, had a quick chat as you normally do, you know, and uh, anyway he gave me this one in the shed. It's a blooming antique thing it is. One of the first ones. Don't know what it's come off. No idea. Anyway, I thought I'd just wire it up because I've got my wiring off the other one. I thought I'd just wire it up and see. And lo and behold, tried it with the drill, you know, and it actually put the light out. I thought, oh, that's an encouraging start. Well, this stand that I made originally for the log splitter, and the motor was nowhere near powerful enough for that, it wouldn't do anything, right? So I made me wood lathe with it. So anyway, I thought, be yeah, it's a blooming cold day, we'll have a little bit of fun here with it and see how we get on. So I put it on, and as you can see, there, look, I've got two pulleys, a large one and a small one. So I put it on the small one, and it does actually spin it fast enough. I'll put a bit of tape on just now to try it, and... Uh, you can, of all things, actually see it. So this is easier. We can press the button on this one, you see, can't we? So first of all, I'll just connect it up. Yeah, you can see the light glowing. Right, it's easy to turn on. Here we are. So the light goes out. And i put the tape on. And we've got the rest counter. Just to try it. And yes, if you can see that, that's a high speed, right? That's the low, the low speed, so, uh, you know, it works. So what we can do, luckily we can start and stop this easily. So what we can do, you see, is load it up. Oh, the next thing I need to do, by the way, is to show you it charging, isn't it? So, I've got to put my multimeter on. I'm trying not to pull the clips off, you see. There you are, yes, you can see it. Look. It's charging. Not 13.8, but 13.283. Say 13.3. So it is charging, isn't it? What we'll do now, we'll stop it. I'm just going to plug these lights in that I made. Remember all the lights I made, and I've got it dead easily so we can. Uh, I'll put some plugs, you know, some push on stuff on so we can plug it in a bit easy because this is what happened <laughs> with the last one, isn't it? That I, uh, I hadn't stopped it and I was putting some wires in and I disconnected it very briefly. Right. Now what I'm going to do now though is we'll look at the revs and we'll look at the voltage and I'm going to just show you the voltage we don't want no else just um, I need to lean that on don't I really this little wooden thing that I made the other day that might do oh, what am I on about it's got it's own stand idiot Malcolm I don't know. Right, I forgot about that, never used it. Right, I'm just going to move you closer so you can see the voltage. And I'll turn it on. And like that. And there isn't any voltage because the clip jumped off. That's why. Right, so it is charging. Let's see if any of these lights work. Well, that's taking the voltage down a bit, you see. That's three volts on, that's 75 watts now. And we'll just see how much it's slowed it. 
yet. We've slowed it to about a thousand reps. Put two more on. See, with this we can play about a little bit because I can switch it off so you can see the battery voltage you see so it's it's only it's hardly charging at that now is it and two of these lights have gone out the rest aren't on so put more on See what we're revving at now. Yeah, it's about about a thousand from seventy-four. I'll just show you that memory. There you are. Look. See, thousand fifty-four. Slowed it to that, hasn't it? But it's now not charging very much at all. It's running these, but that's about all. Okay, so, so what we'll do is endeavour to change this. And the first thing I've got to do is to lift this up. Because what I did, I just bolted it so I could move it. I bolted it to a piece of board and just drilled two holes so I could uh, line it up like that. Just to try it, you know, and that's all it is. It. and it sends the motor that way you see right there you go that's all right i don't know if you how much you've seen on that if any anyway never mind it's something to do on a it's saturday afternoon now so just see as i say i can't run it for very long on this because it will be uh on like that and put the volt thingy on like that turn it on there we are we've got 12 volts on there and I'll turn the machine on oh it doesn't like that at all no it's not going around very fast I can't leave it very long it's charging at 13.1 No, <laughs> the smoke coming off the motor, as you can see. Anyway, it, it's turning it about the same. It won't hurt the motor, it's only on for a second or two. But uh, no, it didn't like that, did it? But it was actually charging. You didn't quite get to see it, but it was actually charging at... Uh... <coughs> oh. <coughs> <coughs> We've had some smoke anyway. So I said we had a bit of fun. Now, it's not enough power for that by a long way. <coughs> I should have left it a bit looser probably. So it slipped a bit. Right, we'll just wait for the smoke to clear and make sure there's no fire. But we've had a bit of fun, haven't we? I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> 